All right, here we go. 25 mil is set, and it's immediately engaging contacts beyond the airplanes and the fuel. Is that fuel leaking? Did you, did you see that? That's really cool. I wonder if that's because it got shot by a rifle round. You can see it's leaking fuel, and this is just looking very brittle. The 25 mil making very short work of any infantry that's in the distance. Oh, that guy just got destroyed. I see fuel leaking from the truck. I don't know if you want to shoot at a card that says Feuergefährlichkeit, which means like fire danger or fire risk. All right, howdy boyos. Welcome back to more Gates of Hell. A huge update came out today for the closed beta, which again sort of rendered my previous conquest with the Germans obsolete. So <laughs> we are going to be restarting again. Look at that. That's like something I totally didn't predict, but it's totally fine because some really awesome additions are in this particular update for Conquest. We're going to stick with the normal difficulty and the medium campaign size because that's what the dev for Conquest told me to stick with for now because that's what's been mostly tested at this time. Now, the biggest update to Conquest is that they, well, added portraits to most if not all of the units so there isn't any placeholder pictures anymore as far as i have seen uh as i said there's actually one right there but they've added pictures to most of the units in the conquest now um the unit lineup for right now goes until december 1943 so i looked for uh, is1s is2s i don't think they are around right now but obviously later on they will get added to conquest they um, also made the research tree a real thing now. I, there's no way you're going to be able to field a, an ISU-152 or, uh, you know, something really, really big, as you can see. Before, it would only cost one point to go down this line, and you could have had a KV-85 basically, like, what, one, two, like, in seven or eight points. Now it costs 11 points just to unlock the last two here in the KV line. So a little bit more of a natural progression. They also tried messing with stuff in-game, but he didn't want to tell me too much about that, so I had to find out what they did. It was more of a surprise to me and to you as well. So, uh, basically just a huge overhaul. It starts off more like the way they planned it, and I'm not going to be able to just pull out a Panzer IV-H or, God forbid, a Panther or you know an IS right off the bat. So, we only have a couple points available to us, Luckily, we do have call-in stages one and two. So I was thinking we can maybe just get uh, grenade rifles and we can unlock a light vehicle, which is going to have to be the, this awesome BT-2 DA-2, which is a twin machine gun armed BT. Still leaves us with two points available. So we could either get an AT gun or artillery, upgrade our infantry, get a Maxim. But I'm thinking, why don't we upgrade to both a Maxim and a 25mm anti-aircraft gun because between those we can deal with infantry and trench positions and with any light vehicles that they may or may not send at us. So I'm going to go build my army and we'll be right back when I can show you what I've assembled. All right, so for our first battle, we are starting off with actually quite a few units. First of all, we have two units of Border Patrol, which are really nothing they're just a couple of guys armed with mosins and a couple svts they're not going to do really good but they're just there to be take the brunt of the enemy fire we are covering them with an at detachment it has a anti-tank rifle a medic squad grenade rifles which obviously have uh, la grenade launchers which will be awesome to dislodge enemy infantry and a maxim that i'm not using this to you know order 227 them by the way though it kind of feels like that when you're adding border patrol to a machine gun <laughs> then phase two or i guess level two we have the 25 millimeter aa gun which will help with basically any armor armor in between brackets they may send us it like light vehicles or armored cars two more border patrol because they are only six man squads and Again, I'm not trying to order 227 these, but it may happen accidentally. And, of course, this absolute monster of a tank, the BT-2 DA-2, which comes with not only two front-facing machine guns in a turret, but also, for some reason, a side-mounted single machine gun. I'm not even sure how a two-man crew would operate this. There's one guy driving down here, and then the commander has to reload, command, gun, 
and also switch between the machine guns. I don't know. I don't know why this machine gun isn't like in the rear or just was removed completely, but hey, it's there. Who knows? It might be useful. So first mission, we only have two options. I think because this is the first time I'm playing the new conquest, we're going to go with the lower risk one first, though when I'm feeling more confident, we can definitely check out the higher risk ones later on. All right, here we are. We are on the airstrip map, and we're going to call in our infantry and uh, our machine gun. And now I noticed there's immediately a vehicle over here. There is a crashed BF-110, which I thought was kind of a cool addition, because it is, in the end, still an airstrip or airfield map. Uh, assuming this huge, this might not be the runway. I don't know if this is a very safe runway with a windmill in the middle and stuff. They've definitely added uh, stuff to the map. I mean, this windmill wasn't there before. Uh, the BF-110 wasn't there before. So... We are going to have to, I guess we'll attach a medic to each one of these. The AT rifles, we can make this a AT rifle team. This will be the grenade launching team. Look at that. And then we just have to back them up with the machine gun. I promise this won't be an order 227 kind of deal. So AT rifle squad, which has a medic. The grenade launcher squad, which has a medic. And then the Maxim will be pushing up. And then whenever we get to points, we'll call in the BT2DA2, I believe. That's what it's called, plus some more border guards and a 25 millimeter. I don't own a car to or a vehicle or a truck. I don't, didn't get one to support the uh, the 25 mil, so it'll be really slow being pushed across the map, but it'll be fine. Well, another thing they added is finally the counter. As you can see, they get a thousand points and then they win. So I can't sit back and take an hour of my time to just kind of look at the map and figure out what I want to do. I kind of do have to hurry up a little bit. Now, I'm hoping that by the time my guys push up more towards the right point, which I guess we'll get first, we can hopefully get the BT-2 out and, uh, you know, get that as a fire support vehicle. But in the meantime, this looks very cinematic. Just a bunch of border guards running across. Look at that. What is it? Is that the grenade launcher? Is it the Dikonov? That looks nuts. Oh, my God. Okay, well... Oh, wait, that's the Diakonov. Do they both? Oh, one of them is a Diakonov, and one of them is like a random regular Mosin rifle grenade. I didn't know there was a difference between those two. We can get the BT-2DA, as our Maxim is a little slow, to obviously be pushed across the field, or I guess carried across, more like. Get our BT-2 out here, and our border guards. I guess we'll have some more on the left. We'll just kind of prepare them for... An attack later. We could even have the 25 mil cover that left point and then we'll work that out in just a second. Okay, go prone, go prone. No, 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 go prone. Where's my rifle grenades? Okay, here we go. What's the range on this? Oh, it's not. Okay, well, we're pushing up. <clears throat> I really want to try and get a nice rifle grenade on this position. I don't know what the range is going to be though. Oh, it's super close still. Okay, we're just running, running. This guy's not going to survive, is he? Yeah, that was very stupid. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. We figured out it wasn't close enough for that. Maybe we need to fall back just for a second. Even though there is a... See, I didn't even order 227 then. They're just, you know, temporarily advancing in the opposite direction of the enemy. It's fine. We did lose that grenade launcher guy, which is a little annoying. But I think they both come with a grenade launcher, so it's not too bad. And this is what I expected. This is going to take a while to get pushed over there. I'm happy that I'm not doing that because that would that would really suck. Our BT2. We can maybe crawl these guys up and they're all reloaded. And then we'll just crawl them back up. And then when we get spotted or stuff spotted this time, we can use our BT and our machine gun to engage. So it's got the dual DTs with a lot of ammo on it too, which is awesome. Okay, there's the Maxim engaging. Keep in mind, this is literally just the first battle of the campaign. And this would be pretty hard, I think, without any sort of armor. So I'm actually really happy I got myself just something. But I'm not sure if they're going to have, you know, an anti-tank rifle or something like that that could ruin me. So, oh, they're running away now. Okay, good. Oh. oh, he went prone. I, think, I don't think I got him. We can use one squad to slowly push up. Oh, we just... Oh, my God. That guy just got randomly knocked off of the machine gun. That's a little annoying, but we're pulling up this squad on the left. 
And by left, I mean right. I know my rights and lefts, don't worry. Our 25 mils pushing up. It's going to take a while, though. All right. Let's push you up. You reload the machine gun. Okay, Maxim's still engaging. Let's keep pushing up here. Suppressing. Trying to mostly to suppress this point. If I can keep them below the sandbags, my infantry can push up together with the BT-2. Although he did knock out someone just now. The BT-2 did anyway. I could potentially try and get this direct control so we have a little bit more accuracy. It does look very cool this randomly spraying, but it's not as effective, I don't think. Do we have more grenade launchers? I swear I do have one more grenade launcher guy. Here he is. Does he have... Okay, he just has one type of ammo. Hopefully it's HE. Here we go. Aim in. And... I'm going. Oh, that was super not accurate. Well, it was a little short. That's not... I guess not inaccurate, but... Maybe we should keep the AT rifles... Together. Because... Uh, right now, I don't feel like... They, I don't want to push in and lose the AT rifle guy, mainly because he just has a revolver. Though I could give him an SV. Oh, that's a Mo no, no, that's a Mosin grenade launcher. Never mind. Maxim, suppressive firing. Crawl up the infantry. They already have 149 points, so we're kind of going down a little fast. Maybe I'll even keep my medic back here, especially because he's in the front. I don't know why the medic's in the front of all people. That doesn't seem like a great idea. Okay, the squad slowly pushing in. I want to take this very carefully because they don't mess around, clearly. In the meantime, we can maybe push our 25 mil up just a little bit, get some eyes on. There we go. Get our BT. Reload the guns. The turret rotates very slow on this, so you can't go for an insane flanking push on something. Oh my god, it's just the amount of firepower coming out of those twin DTs, man. There's a flamethrower up there, so we really want to be careful, I think. Oh, he's running. Oh, he got, we got him? Oh, I think we got him. The Pioneer got destroyed. Okay, that's good. So we can slowly crawl into the point here. We'll keep our medic and the AT rifle just a little behind. Okay, there we go. We got more guys in the cap. Uh, so we're going to capture, and then hopefully they will start getting less points. Or maybe it'll be a... It's like a basing, right? Where one point on each team means that both teams get no points. Like one capture zone and one capture zone kind of equals each other out. Or cancels each other out. Or maybe we'll both start getting points, but just slower. Or they'll get their points slower and they'll start getting points. Because I only have one point right now. I'm not even sure what that's based on. It might be based on the fact that I killed like an important unit. Let's reload the machine gun here. I need to get a rifle guy on this because he doesn't have any... He can't move the machine gun by himself, I think. Although he's firing at that one guy who was spotted. Put you on the sandbags. We can see what's going on. SVT. Oh, it's an SVT-38, not an SVT-40. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, just checking this point with this man. He doesn't have much ammo left, by the way. He only has like two and a half reload. Making sure this is clear. If it is, we could uh, just leave a squad here. And by squad, I mean a couple guys. And then we'll send this other huge squad over and the Maxim. And then I think the first battle may be a success. Relative. Well, I mean, we only lost like, what, three people? Two people so far? We're taking this very careful. Not like before, where I kind of figured, yeah, YOLO. Because right now, I don't have the option to just buy up to, you know, a KV-85 or something nuts like that. Do we have any machine gunners here? Or maybe AT rifles? Hmm. Maybe we'll leave that for now and we'll just focus on maybe getting the caps. Because especially, <clears throat> there's no point in me upgrading these border guard too much because between you and me, they're going to get cancelled. I don't really have an interest in keeping them around for very long. I'll probably unlock the regular infantry squad sooner or later anyway. Okay, this thing is just going ham. Oh, you can see the 25 mil is going ham too. Oh my god, that's awesome. Alright, let's call this infantry units behind here and 
push it up past. We got some infantry. Oh, there's an entire squad over here. That's a good time to engage this, uh, what is it? Just mostly infantry, regular infantry, but still. All right, engage, please. Gonna cut these off before they support the main defense effort. They are getting cut down, one down. They're outrunning the turret. They're outrunning the, oh, that guy's got rigged. 25 mil is lobbing shells in there. He's down. Guy with the MP41 is still running. Oh, he got knocked out too. Oh, and that's a 25 mil hitting directly on that squad. Okay, they are still getting points. We do have this cap zone, but we're not getting any points. So we'll have to just push in. But we'll do it slowly. Our 25 mil wasn't a good position there, because it is, you know, it was getting shots in. But I feel like I might have gotten too many border guards, but they are doing what they need to do, which is, you know, get the enemy and not so much super die. But if they do die, it's not a big issue, because I can just replace them with regular soon anyway. There we go. <laughs> Diakonov guy in the background there. BT2A D2. BT2DA2. It's a mouthful, and even though it's just like five, four letters and two numbers, but. Okay, he's down. We've gotten the point. We'll clear it out now with our border guards who aren't really equipped for CQB, but. Okay, oh, they are sending some light. Oh, they've gotten some really good damage in on these guys back here. Uh, they knocked out most of my people back there, so we'll have to send out uh, the BT, I think. Oh, they're right here. They're trying to recap it. No, medic, run away! Medic, run away! Oh, no! Don't shoot the medic, that's a war crime! Well, not that anyone cares in 1941, I don't think, but okay. Okay, we're under actually in some light trouble here. We're just losing the other cap as... Okay, this squad is just getting absolutely destroyed by the BT-2. For some reason, the secondary gun is... Okay, there we go. For some reason, they're using the secondary gun, not the main, like, big gun that I had. Well, they're the same gun. This one has a duo and one is a single, so... No! Ugh, that magazine is a lot bigger than my SVT magazine, isn't it? That's the... That's really cost. Maybe our medic can heal people now. As we try, do we have the left flag captured? Not yet. We're getting there though. But you can see immediately that this has become a little harder than it was before. It's not just oh, you run into point and you hope you win because they're sending reinforcements to both points. I think we're gonna get this one captured here. Put the guys in the sandbags. I don't have the ability to make foxholes. Okay, there we go. We did win. Well, we cost us quite a few infantry. Um, and they, they weren't messing. This is just normal, too. They weren't messing around anyway. Best player was obviously me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we lost a couple of guys, especially at the end there. We lost almost an entire border guard squad. But I don't think it really matters because, like I said, we got a little bit of, of research points. We got quite a few research points. So we could technically just upgrade them to rifle squads, get rid of those guys, get the rifle squads. Could even go, what is this, motorized rifle? Ooh, okay, so they probably come in a truck or something. That's cool. Guards rifle, assault sappers, paratroopers, spetsnaz, black jackets. I think our marines. Mountain rifles, which they has like a Yushank on, which looks really cool. So I guess we'll get the rifle squad upgraded. I don't really want to get to guards rifles right away. We could get, ooh, an IL-2 airstrike sounds really cool. Maybe, see... We're going to want to get defenders, so we'll get the defenders, which does cost three points, but it's going to be worth it, I think. Well, one point left. What should we put that in? A dish gum, a T gun. A T gun upgrade would be good, but it's only a small upgrade. M37 to M42. Uh, maybe the BT2 upgrade costs a whole two points, which we do not have. T27. <laughs> little artillery. Actually. Doesn't that tow the that could tow the 25 mil? I think it could. I am hoping it could. So that way we can now get the T27. I'm trying to. Oh, we don't have a lot of money though. We didn't get a lot of money there. See, I'm really used to getting lots of money from these games, which is not the case. So we'll throw you in here, and then we have. Uh, let's do a resupply all, which just costs a lot of money. Well, relatively speaking. No, why are, how expensive is the infantry? 
109. Okay. If I put you guys all in here, how much am I getting back from you? Oh, okay. I would not get a lot left. We could try and dismiss all of them and get two squads of infantry versus four border. Let's do that. Let's just dismiss them all. And then we should have enough money for two rifle squads. Okay, thank God my math is not that bad yet. I did actually get that. Uh, resupply to guys who need resupplying. And then we can throw an AT, a regular rifle squad in here. And then maybe a regular rifle squad in there. All right, looks like we are defending a German airfield. We have just captured it, and we are going to have to obviously defend it. Now, our units are spawning very far away, which is a little annoying. We have to run across this entire city to get our stuff going out there. And it's going to take a long time before our Maxim can actually be there to, you know, impact the battle. So I guess we'll send our AT rifle more towards the middle. So they can try and support, you know, whichever side armor may or may not come up. We'll just push the infantry to the same side and the medic will send one medic to go there and we'll keep one medic further back who will be assigned to the other infantry squad because I got two of them. So I might as well send them to the infantry squads, right? And then they will all go to support this airfield. And then I'm hoping we can get the second phase. If I got that T-27 now, I'm really happy. I forgot. I feel like I did. It would be good for us because then we can tow the 25 millimeter gun out here ASAP. And we can take a look. It looks like uh, we captured this airfield. There's a bunch of just like German equipment and fuel trucks and BF-109s. I saw some BF-110s back there. There was like an emplacement of anti-aircraft guns, which looked really cool. But these have obviously been knocked out or maybe they're out of ammo or something. But there's some, uh, there's some Soviets here defending them. And it does look, it does look really cool. It's a huge city back here which could be a very interesting fight for, uh, you know, a multiplayer game where perhaps when you're attacking on this map in Conquest, maybe there's like a capture point like in the middle of this huge town slash city. But this looks like a very good place to defend. We got a, a huge wall around here. It's a little low of a wall, but it's still a decent wall. You got this huge ravine, which could potentially be a dried up river or one of the many tank ditches dug by Soviet civilians during World War II. Um, they'd have an entire population of a city or a town come out and just get them to dig, dig, dig these huge tank ditches, which obviously means that the tanks can only go over certain areas like this sort of bridge in between brackets or, uh, you know, where the railway line would be. And then they could obviously mine that or just heavily cover that specific area with heavy machine or heavy AT guns and just focus on the infantry that may not come across the trench. So, I mean, this is a pretty deep drop here even. So, and they could mine these too. So as a German infantryman, it wasn't maybe not, maybe not much better uh, than the, being a tanker. We'll keep the medic here for right now as we have to uh, support our allied boyos. I'm not really sure. We could try and do some digging. Okay, more digging, more dinging. We'll build the medic tent back here. If I can get a trench or a foxhole right there, that would be brilliant. I'm starting to get sort of a defense in debt, right? So it's not just like a single squad or a single line they have to come across. I can put this machine gunner right here. I think he has a good eye on those attacking infantry. Ah, uh, they're pushing my trench guys or foxholes. Come on, dig them fast or dig them, dig them, dig them. Come on. Machine gunner, run into this trench, please. We can switch you around. That'd be awesome. Oh, they're charging our position here. They're on top of us. Oh, my God. Oh, they're still digging the foxhole. Hurry up. Get in it. Oh, that was just in time, I think. All right, we are set. We can call on the other reinforcements. Look at that. Hopefully, ah, yes, can tow. That's awesome. Okay, we'll throw the medic in with the other rifle squad. BT, you are pushing to the airfield. No, maybe we'll push the BT to the town with the other rifle squad. So we'll meet them over here with the medic. And then this thing, hey, look at that. Perfect. Push into the town. We have our infantry here set with the grenade launchers. Our infantry here is all good. We did mow down quite a few of them attacking that position. So I think the medic tent just has extra bandages. So if you like, let's say we just throw one out. 
Does he get a bandage? I know if he I don't know if he gets one because technically he already is fully equipped with bandages, so I don't think he I don't know if he gets one, but I've been told that the medic tent gives bandages, so. What is that? It's a squad of infantry attacking, right? They're not gonna have a great time when my BT shows up here in just a second. We can just push it to the open field here. But at the same time, I, yeah, maybe. And I feel like maybe I should have put the BT more into town. And then, like, we can use the BT, like, over here. And then this thing, we can push it to, like, here. And then across the road. And then have it in the open. Because it's a lot of infantry attacking us right now over here. Luckily, we do have a medic. And our guys are holding the line pretty well. They're coming... They're firing, engaging, moving. Okay, our infantry here is uh, going to meet up with the medic. And then we'll assign them to defend over here. Machine gun, maybe you move in a better... There's a train over here. Oh, can I get in it? Uh, I was hoping we could... Look, look, it looks so cool. It's a German train, though. I don't know if we should want to get in that. This looks really... Oh, my God. Comparing this to Assault Squad 2's train... <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, listen, we're not talking about the quality of the trains here, right? But that looks awesome. Wait, this is a German train, and these are Soviet train cars. Hmm. Maybe we just stole their train and we're using it. That kind of would make sense. Though I believe, didn't the Soviets have a different rail gauge from the uh, Germans? So the Germans couldn't use the Soviet tracks? Or they had to, like, use different tracks, like more narrow trains? Or just replace the entire... Uh, you know, railway track. I believe I've heard about that before. So we're pushing up our little baby machine. Hey, look at that. Screw that barbed wire. Because I figured this thing would do really good out in the open. Oh, we have a... There's an entire trench system over here we haven't even used yet. We could probably get some of our infantry that isn't... Oh, this, no, he's up. We could you get, get some of these guys to just deploy themselves over here. Can I get in that tower? That'd be cool. Tower, the trench. We have a sandbag over here. We can put the T27, like, right next to it. Oh, he's climbing it. Oh, we're getting in it. There we go. Hopefully he can... Okay, he can. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, that's actually really cool. Okay, this squad. Position you over here. We'll keep the medic, I guess, back just for right now. Because he is very, very fast at sprinting everywhere he wants to. My AI have kind of taken up a bad position. This is a good position, but some of them have taken up a position super far away for some reason. Make sure they're all reloaded. Select my medic separately. And then we'll get our T-27 just to deploy the gun probably next to... between the area here, so it's a little safe, right? And then... we'll have a deploy. Alright, here we go. 25 mil is set, and it's immediately engaging contacts beyond the airplanes and the fuel. Is that fuel leaking? Did you, did you see that? That's really cool. I wonder if that's because it got shot by a rifle round. You can see it's leaking fuel, and this is just looking very brittle. The 25 mil making very short work of any infantry that's in the distance. Oh, that guy just got destroyed. I see fuel leaking from the truck. I don't know if you want to shoot at a car that says Feuer Gefährlichkeit. Which means, like, fire danger, or fire risk. Is there, is there some Ostlig in here? We got some Eastern uh, Eastern troops here. But, you know, Soviets or people from the former Soviet US states, like the Ukraine, who joined the uh, the German army, either by force or by uh, by their own will. But they're just getting destroyed, just like the, the Germans are. Trying to keep them off the airfield that we have captured from them. At least that's how I envisioned it in my head, right? Like, we we came here, uh, we, we captured the airfield just in time. And now, obviously, the Germans do not want us to have their aircraft and or this airfield. So they are coming in to try and, you know, counterattack and get the airfield back. Because they don't want us to keep it. Which, that's what, I guess, makes sense in my head when I think about it. They are getting this destroyed, though. Look at this area. This is brutal. It's just nothing left here but bodies and um, I guess I could I could loot some guns here at the end of the battle if there's some time left for me to do so 25 mil in the background I don't know how much oh behind us there's a freaking tank 
Oh my god, we didn't even see that. Okay, that's kind of bad. How to consider shooting those guys? Oh my god, okay. That was something. I didn't think they would just send a Panzer 1 in right behind me. So they already have ar well, armor. I mean, technically speaking, it's the same quality armor as this BT, right? I mean, it doesn't, it won't be good against other vehicles, but it'll be good against infantry, which at this point is. I think still a really big thing to have. We'll dig in these infantry here, just so we have um, some some cover. I think this guy just has a pistol though, or the revolver as a backup. But we'll do this so we have line of sight with the BT, so we can actually use it to support. Are those both reloaded? I think they are. Okay, good. Digging their foxholes. I'm really surprised. I should capture that. I should really capture this Panzer One if it's not broken. Okay, let's go check it out. Oh no, the fuel truck's on fire. That's not good. I don't know if it should be. I just don't know if it should be like right here, you know? That's not a great spot for a fuel truck in the middle of the firing line. Oh. Some more 25 mil. Ooh, it looks like the guy got hit in the head by a 25 mil. Oh, that truck has seen better days. A lot better days, actually. More shots coming in. They're just charging our 25 mil. I don't know what's uh it's the Osley Grenier. Oh that guy got blown up. Alright, we're gonna try and start repairing this Panzer 1. I believe someone said you don't have to repair them, you can just have crew in it and it'll still count as yours. But I feel like I might as well repair it, right? And spend the extra little time and energy on it. This thing is still going. It has a lot of ammo, honestly. I didn't think it'd be doing this good, but this is 20, 20 eliminations on it. And a Panzer one here. I don't think we're going to use it. I will probably... Let's take a look at the armor. Okay, sick 40 millimeters? Where is the 40? What? 40 millimeters? What the hell? What's the speed on this thing? So it's faster. It's got more armor. The one thing it doesn't have is any like extra crew room. Like it only has a crew room for two. This can like have four guys right on the back. So you can use it as like a makeshift transport. But it's so much slower, and it does have like a third of the armor basically in in at least one area. So we'll just probably keep this one. They're still charging us at the moment. I don't know if it's for their own good or not. But reloading. Keep spraying them down. Looks like we are... Damn, we just destroyed those guys. I kind of feel bad. I kind of wish that um, they had a chance here. But the 25 mil is just wrecking them. They're about to be out of ammo in this uh, 25 mil. They're just almost out. Okay, I guess we can use the Panzer one here in just a second. Oh, he's out of ammo too for the machine gun. He's out of ammo. I don't think we have any ammo crates. So yeah, we're gonna have to just, uh, oh, we lost some infantry. Infantry out of ammo, we might as well keep out, get out of the firing line so they don't accidentally die. Because that would be really annoying if my guys accidentally died and then, you know, because they have no ammo to fight back. But we got our little T-27 over here doing its job. That's all. I actually even put it in the bush. That's really cool. I wonder if it's out of. Okay, it's out of AP or HE ammo. It doesn't mean we can't use it though. I'm surprised that they sent armor already, but we'll just have to deal with it. We'll use the AP now. We've almost one. But what we can do? Oh, he's down. You can just use AP. It's still direct impact, right? What we can do... Ooh, I like that. Reloading, reloading. We'll probably jump in this Panzer 1 here in just a second to make sure it's ours, even though it's not fully repaired yet. We'll get this guy out of here because he's actually got no armor or no ammo. Oh, can we not jump in it until it's repaired? Oh, no. The game's going to be over before we can cap it. They're charging. 25 mil. Reload, reload, reload. This barrel must be so hot right now. He's down. Oh, he's definitely down. Reload, a little bit of ammo left. 
Oh, don't tell me it has to be have more than one repair on it, because that's not going to happen. Hurry up, hurry up. Couple points left. I cannot get in it. I hear a tank. What is that? A freaking Panzer IV? Reload. Oh, we're knocking it out, though. The 25 mil. No, no, no. End the game. End the game. Two, go, go, go. No. No. No, no, no. You. Oh, man. That sucks. God dig it. I just wanted it. Oh, man. That's that's brutal. I was so close to saving it. They must have been, they would have been super veterans. They knocked out a bunch of infantry. Oh, man. That's brutal. That is just absolutely brutal. I mean, they're not even, yeah, they're not even part of the column. They just got annihilated. Well, I think we're going to call it there. We are definitely going to be jumping into some more conquest. I got to say, this update has been really interesting. It definitely, they, they were attacking and not just once or twice, they were attacking constantly. If it wasn't for the 25 mil, I don't think I would have been able to hold the line. Thanks, though, to the Panzer IV at the very end for knocking it out. Because now I got to buy something else to deal with their future armor. But they're already sending Panzer IV Ds. It's an early Panzer IV, obviously. But already sending Panzer IV Ds with the short 75 at us. And it's only the second battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Would love to see you in the next one. Cheers.